Hey guys, it's Kat D, and I'm here with a pop haul. Um, I don't even know where to look. Oh, there comes the dog. Um, so I'm actually recording on my new iPad I got for Christmas, so I hope it's a little bit better than my phone. Um, so you guys know, I was totally like, I'm not going to buy any more Funko Pops. And what did I do? I bought a ton of Funko Pops. And let me tell you, it all started with that dang pop in the box being so incredibly good that I got three Disney Pops. Um, so if you guys don't know much about my channel, I'm Kathy. Hi. Uh, but I collect a lot of different things. I do a lot of different unboxings for, um, Loot Crate, Bam Box, Legion of Collectors, uh, a ton of boxes. Geek Fuel, I do One Up Box, uh, Owl Crate, like, if you name it, I've probably done the box. Go back and look at all the videos I've done before. Um, I've done boxes that aren't even around anymore. Um, so anyway, I got to the point where I was like, I'm not going to buy any more Funko Pops because I get a Pops in, like, all of these boxes. Now, the problem with that is there are series that I want to collect. Hi, baby. Did I scare you? I'm sorry. Um, so there are series that I want to collect, like Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, and Disney, and random characters, like I love Harley Quinn and Loki, I kind of collect both of those, um, and Nightmare Before Christmas, and some random stuff, right, but Nightmare Before Christmas kind of falls within Disney. So I saw on Pop in the Box that some of the Game of Thrones Pops were retiring, and then boom, as a collector, when you hear Pops are starting to retire, you remember once again that you neglected or waited too long to get Pops that you did not have or want you're like oh I'll get them later oh I'll get them later I can't justify buying that and then I only went to buying exclusive pops anyway long story short I went on a Funko Pop buying like craziness I think I showed you like maybe 10 pops last time and now I have like I want to say almost 20 pops this time um and a lot of them are going to be Game of Thrones I also found some exclusives um, so I'm going to get right to this, um, and I actually forgot two of them, and I'll get that to that at the end of the video. Okay, so the very first part of this is actually a box I haven't unboxed yet, so I figured I would unbox it, and you could see me open them. And these are probably ones that I went shopping on eBay, I went shopping on Amazon, and I justified it because January 8th is my birthday. Yep, happy birthday to me. So close to Christmas. Bleh. Um, so I told my husband, I'm so sorry. I just bought a, a ton of pop figures. And he's like, I'm not surprised, Catherine. All right. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to put this on the floor. Or in my lap. All right, so the, I opened it up, and this is what I see. Just a whole bunch of paper, so they packed it pretty well. Okay, so there's four pops in here. So, 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I have 21 pops to show you. Alright, so we'll get right into it. Ugh, these are packaged really well. I don't want to, like, ruin them. Wait for the dog to bark. So oh, she didn't. All right. <clears throat> she barks at absolutely everything. She's actually been pretty good. All right. This is in all of the bubble. All righty. The very first pop I'm going to pull out is. Pop number 30, it's over on Mont Martel, and this is a Game of Thrones pop, and this is from edition 5. And you, wow, this picture is so much better than my phone. Can you look at that? Holy goodness. Okay, so this is not a retired pop yet. Um, I'm going to show you on the back um, the ones I still, I'm still going to need. Um, I still need, I believe, the... Um, wit and I still need Viserion. I think I got Jamie Lannister. Maybe so we'll, I'll tell you maybe at the end No, I think I got Jamie Lannister in this hall somewhere um, I have Grey Worm. I think I also got the mountain in this hall somewhere. Oh <laughs> spoiler alert um, And then Oberon which is right here, and he's number 30 
And I will promise, I promise, I promise I'll be doing my room tour as soon as I get back. I'm going to Disney World tomorrow. Yeah, so I won't be posting anything on YouTube for, I want to say like a week. Uh, but I have two videos going up. I have this one and then I have a trade box with Shake Your Geek that will be going up probably right after this. So watch them both. Okay, so the next one I have is The Mountain. Really cool. I'm going to have to stack them somewhere else eventually. Um, and then we have... Oh, and he was number 31 from that same edition. These are in excellent condition. Okay, here's from edition 6, one of the bigger editions. Um, this is... <coughs> excuse me. Unsolid. He is number uh, 45. <laughs> on this one, um, you can get Ramsey, uh, Marjorie, Braun, uh, Jora, Stannis, Melisandre, the Harpy, the Night King, Unsullied, Drogon, the big version, and Rigel, the big version. And there is an evil looking um, Drogon that I really, really want. And I don't have this one either. Um, I do have this big one. It's the only big one I have. And I believe I'm still going to need the Night King eventually. Okay, so there's that. All right, so the next one I got is from edition four. Look, I'm all over the place. And it is going to be Peter Baelish. Everyone loves and hates Peter Baelish. It's a love-hate relationship. So there's that. Let me know if you like this camera better. All right, so there's four of the 21 pops. All right, so next. Moving on to the ones that aren't in a box. They're already in a box. We have uh, Jorah Mormont from the Game of Thrones. Don't worry, guys. It's not all Game of Thrones. Bear with me, I promise. I have Disney and Marvel and a whole bunch of stuff. So here is Jorah. Um, then we have number 39, which is Bronn. And he's also from Edition 6. Then we have um, the normal Melisandre, and I do have her in uh, the Barnes & Noble, uh, Noble Special Edition of her. <clears throat> then we have one, number nine from edition two, Arya Stark. Kind of just a normal looking pop. I always didn't buy her, but then I, not that I don't like Arya, I just, I think the pop, yeah. This one I have to fix, um, and this one is ridiculously heavy. Another character you love and hate at the same time, and she actually looks really, really pink. And it's uh, Cersei Lannister. Like this pop looks pink. Or orange. So there's that. I guess you have to be careful. I hope that these are legit. She looks pink. Looks legit. I don't know how to tell. Has anybody had an issue with getting fake pops before? Mm -hmm. If anybody has her, let me know if yours is like orange. She is like orange. Alright. So, uh, not Game of Thrones for a second, but we got one that I found at my local Walgreens, and that is the Scarlet Spider. I really want Venom. And then another one that we found at Walgreens we just had to pick up was um, the Boba Fett Prototype. And I haven't seen this one. I mean, I know he came out a while ago, I want to say. Um, but he was just randomly at the Walgreens, and we didn't have him, so we picked him up. He's number eight in the Star Wars line. He, he, I also saw him next to the Glow Yoda. But we already had Glow Yoda, so I didn't pick him up. The next one I'm so, 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 so excited to have. It's actually from Series 1 of the Disney ones, and that is Stitch. Uh, my dream is to literally have all of these Disney Pops, and there's just no way. There's like over 300. And I'll show you on the back here. 
So I have Mickey and Stitch now, Tinkerbell and Maleficent. That is the only ones I have from this. I wish I went in the I went to the mall. All right, so the next one, back to Game of Thrones, just for a second. We have Marjorie. And then, um, Christ, Dad, let me take this off. Hold on. I hope this camera was better. All right, um, Sarah and the Worm from the Labyrinth. I already have the uh, Hot Topic Jareth. I need the regular Jareth, Hoggle, and Ludo. All right, so another one from Fantastic Beasts. Um, I did a haul with them last time. I got number two, Newt Scamander. I will never get number one. He's an astronomical price. The one that was an exclusive from SDCC, I wanna say it is. <sighs> I'll never get that guy. Oh well. I should have bought it when it was like $40 and not $90. But um, now I have number one, which is Newt. No, I have number two, Newt Scamander. I have um, number eight. I have two eights. I have, um, or maybe it's two nines. I have two Nifflers. Mm, I don't know. I have, I have three pops upstairs. I think I have... A pop that's not on here. Yeah, I have a Hot Topic exclusive Newt. So I have Newt, I have Niffler, Niffler, and then a Hot Topic exclusive Newt that's not on here. And now him. So he's number four. All right, then we have Marvin the Martian. Um, I'm actually really happy to have found him. So uh, a friend of mine um, uh, told me that one of the malls here in uh, uh, well in the Alpharetta area, that's which is about 45 minutes from where I am, um, they had all of these Funko Pops everywhere. So my husband and I decided on uh, Christmas Eve of all days. Um, I tried to leave work a little bit early, which is crazy because I work in retail. Anyway, I got to leave work a little bit early and then... We went and on a Funko Pop like search, and um, that's where we found the Labyrinth Pop, the Stitch from Series One Pop, and we found Marvin the Martian. Now we did find a whole bunch of like um, retired and Volta Pops, but the guy that we was selling him was selling them like from. I have this random hair here, guys. Sorry. Ooh, okay, the guy that was selling him. Um, wanted way too much money and actually found uh, the um, Space Cadet Metallic Chase and they wanted $65 for it and I just couldn't do it. On Pop Price Guide it was like $22. Not that I could ever find it for $22 but anyway. Marvin the Martian. I talk too much. I mean literally. I just like Alright so back to oh no my box is all trashed. Um I didn't tell you that I have uh, Jamie Lannister, which is number 35 from edition 5. He has that gold hand. Then we have Ned Stark from edition 1. And I know that he's not like super rare or anything. Um, not yet anyway. Um, Headless Ned, which is a ridiculous amount of money. Um, is super rare but I found him and I'm like okay I have to buy him because he's like number two um so I have two and three and four uh, I still need the hound I thought I got him but I don't I still need the hound and the white walker and number uh no that's it I have Tyrion too I think I don't have battle scarred Tyrion Okay, and the next one is Drogon. Isn't he cute? Now, edition three, I want to say, is like literally the going to be the one that I cannot complete. 
and I'll show you why on the back. So here's edition three. All right, so this is Drogon, the one I have. Um, Hodor is vaulted and he is super expensive. And um, Joffrey's vaulted, super expensive. Um, I believe I have Bryn of Tarth, Tywin Lannister vaulted, Ygret vaulted, I do have Ghost, um, Rigel, the small version vaulted, I got this one actually in a Bobo, so I do have this one, but she's vaulted, um, Grey Wind, who I really, really want, is also vaulted, uh, Viserion, the middle one, the middle one vaulted, and, um, Tyrion Lannister is the one that has the scar, and I probably will get him, but like most of these on this edition and this edition are Volta Pops. I have like, I have Drogon, and Bran of Tarth, and Ghost, and Daenerys right there. I have those four. And I'll be right back. Okay, sorry. Okay. All right. Um, these I actually found tonight um, on clearance. So, I mean, they're probably not super sought after, but I picked them up because I saw Rogue One yesterday and I loved it. Um, so, this one is the Target exclusive Captain Cassian. Um, and he was $6. So, I picked him up. You can't even see him through this clearance sticker. Clearance sticker. I mean, they had a whole wall. A whole wall of this. So, maybe they ordered too much. I don't know, but... Go to your local Target if you're looking for this. I don't know why on Pop Price Guide they're $12 and $13. They're six. So, there's him. Got his facial hair going on. And then, because I don't even own any of this particular pop, and I loved this movie, I'm taking the clearance price off because she was clearance too. I hope this camera is better. You guys really, please tell me if this camera is any better. Oh. Okay. Um, Ray. The target only Ray. I don't have any of the rays. Now, Star Ones is another one that I collect uh, mainly for uh, my husband, but he uh, will never have them all. He, he's in the same boat with Star Wars as I am with Disney. It's just never going to happen. Um, but I try to, you know, we try to buy the ones that we find. And, ooh. They're, uh, the ones that we find when we can find them for good deals and if they come and pop in a box, but... Um, Harry Potter and Game of Thrones. Harry Potter more than... Harry Potter's one I actually, if I try to, none of them I don't think are super, super, super expensive yet. If I'm wrong, let me know. Um, but if you... I'm sure that's one that I probably need to get on getting the first ones because I don't have any Ron, any Hermione. Uh, I want uh, Luna. Um, again, I think I only have 11 of them. But, what do you do when you want everything? Um, so yeah, so those are my Funko Pops. If you guys want to know what else I got, um, like I told you, my birthday is January 8th. Happy birthday to me. Um, so my husband went and, and got me two things today because uh, we are going to Florida tomorrow. And we're going to be gone for like six days. So I won't get back until like the 2nd or 3rd of January. Um, so happy new year, everybody. Um, so I want all of the Harry Potter magical creatures that are coming out. So I didn't get any for Christmas. I asked like everybody it was on my list and I just, I didn't get any. And, um, my husband surprised me with two today. Um, I got the basilisk and I got the horn tail, the dragon and the basilisk. Um, if you hold on one second, I could probably go grab them. Ooh. 
Sorry. This video is so random. So I got the Harry Potter Magical Creatures, and this is the um, Ukrainian Horntail. How beautiful. But these things are $30 a pop. Um, and this one is number five. I believe there's nine of them out right now. And the second one, and the only other one I have, is the Basilisk, which is really flippin' cool. And he's number three. Um, so when my husband was set out to look for these, because I did know he was going to get me a couple, um, I asked him to find Hedwig and the Phoenix. Um, I was looking on Amazon the other day, and I couldn't find those two. Um, and I, I found them from, like, random sellers, not Amazon itself. Because you know sometimes random sellers jack up the prices, especially during the holidays, because they want to rip the pockets out of human beings. Um, but the Phoenix was, like, $98. And I'm like, no, don't get that one. And then Hedwig was, like, $54. So, um... If any of you out there find the Phoenix or find Hedwig and want to pick that up for me, I would be willing to put a box of other stuff, like maybe a, middle, a mini mystery box of stuff that I have um, that's worth at least $40 um, to compensate you. Um, my P.O. box is always down below. Just reach out to me and let me know. I do want all of them. I'd probably be willing to do it with the other ones as well. Uh, just let me know. Um, let me know what you like best down below. I've been rambling for the last 20 minutes. Let me know how you like my camera and make sure you wish me a happy birthday. Thanks guys. I'm Getty. Bye.